Hello, hello everybody, it's Web Profchoff, and we're back again with another video. This is how this deranged VTuber became known as the Amber Heard of Japan, the Mickey Neku incident. So I'm pretty sure this is Mickey Neku is a uh, Russia, like after graduation. And from what I heard, okay, so this is what I know about Russia before we start, okay? She had a decent graduation, nothing bad happened, and that is all I know. Okay, so let's see what the hell happened while I was gone. Yeah, you Jesus. read the title right. Mikaneko is the VTuber at the heart of this incident, or I should say scandal. Some fans were quick to give her the nickname, the Amber Heard of Japan. That's pretty bad, I mean, bro. what an honor it is to be nicknamed yeah, after someone be who literally shat in their husband's bed <laughs> and abused them emotionally for years. I'm so and I'm pretty sure physically as well. I think she was beating him from time to time. So jealous, really. Look, this situation was so profound Scrutiny that it shook YouTuber the industry. Japanese internet like an earthquake. They're bad. Okay, man. Maybe that wasn't the best analogy. Yeah. What I really meant to say. Yeah, Japan kind of gets some strong earthquakes, some big ass waves. Some. I don't think they have volcanoes. Is that this Do they have volcanoes? I don't know. The Japanese internet. Hey, yo. Okay, you get the point. All right. <laughs> yeah, this we had get a the massive point. Massive impact in Japan. This involves a secret marriage, psychological abuse for two years straight, and creating Damn. alt accounts online. Yeah, straight. That's a lot of fucking monitors. Talk to the other person behind their backs. Sheesh. Unfortunately, these are only a few things that happened in what this happened, incident. Russia? So what exactly occurred between okay. Mikineko and okay. Mafumafu? Mafumafu is that singer dude, right? I think I've listened to some of his songs and he has an amazing voice if he is who I'm thinking about. And why is it by far one of the biggest scandals in VTubing history? Mm. Well, Get ready. One of the biggest this is scandals. A roller coaster. Let's do this. Guys, this video is not sponsored. If That's you like that, subscribe. Also, from face. this point onwards, I'm a full time content creator. Thanks to every single one of you. Okay. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Back to the video. Is that dinosaur? Now, there were many on the shoulder? things that led up to the huge revelation of huge this incident. Revelation. But before we get to that, you need some important context. You see, when you're a celebrity in Asia, in particular Japan and South Korea, the reason why K pop stars can have a partner is exposed. It is taboo for oh, you to be honest, be in that so weird to me. Absolutely weird to me. Fans will <laughs> feel betrayed yeah. if they see you being romantic with someone. Listen, if you get to the point where you're a fan of somebody this much that you start making a parasocial relationship with them, first stop. Grass outside, go touch it. Maybe cut it, sniff it, I don't know, do whatever. You need help, brother. But if they see you dating Straight someone, up. and there are music labels, most namely the biggest corporations, that will literally put a clause in the contract you saying they're anybody? not allowed to have a partner for the duration of this agreement. That is so this weird. This article right here is an example. Straight up Two K-pop stars from two different groups were caught together in Paris. Oh and no! That was enough to. Yeah. By the way, how do you go to Paris and expect not to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend? That is. Where that is. Turn the That's crazy. upside down with a lot of hate being sent to both of them. It's that ridiculous. But this isn't just limited to K-pop stars and VTubers and idols. No, there was also a case. But that's also for VTubers. How would you even know if a VTuber is in a relationship? Case of a fuck weather lady in Japan what? called Saya Hiyama, who was caught in Wimbledon arriving with a tank. Oh, and she's looking cute, but come on, bro. There was controversy, there was outrage over her being in a relationship this is a weather lady bro a weather lady she's not Yo. a star a singer or an actor she just tells you about the weather asia what the hell y'all are down bad huh jesus christ <laughs> but she's famous across japan and that's enough she's a celebrity she had to apologize cute. publicly about Bruh. this you understand the significance of relationships when you're famous you're essentially trapped in a relationship with your That's audience. Crazy. And if you quote unquote cheat on them by actually being in a relationship with okay. a human. First off, if you're famous, how are you in a relationship with all them motherfuckers? That's a lot of people. How does that even work? You get torn to pieces. That's how it works there, and it's definitely a culture shock to someone coming yes, from the is. West, for example. Yes, it is. Gigantic. Because the Swifties are as insane as the K-pop stands. But if Taylor Swift's in a relationship, they encourage them until they oh. break up. Then they... <laughs> well, Wait. the guy... Hasn't Taylor Swift had like a thousand relationships now? <laughs> the guy doesn't end up too happy. Yeah, <laughs> Let's probably just not. say that, okay? It's Damn, very rough, to bullet. say the least. Now, I'm sure you can see where we're going with this, but it's way more complicated than that. This scandal is involves it? Mikineko and yeah? Mafu Mafu. And before you say anything, this is him. It's a Spotify Wait. picture, okay? This is a That that cannot be him. He looks like AI in this. It must be edited heavily because brother looks like he has 
artificial skin. Real human. What the Just hell? A heavily filtered picture. It looks so now, fragile. Now, in the case of Mikaneko, she has had Jeez. two other personas under two Who? different corporations. But she has always been Mikaneko when she's indie, when she's not under a corporation. She was at Vishojo as Amayama Nazuna, and before that, her real breakthrough in the industry, and what most people. Wait, Rushi was in Visho? I've missed so much. I am so far away from the truth. We'll know her as is Uruha Rushia under yeah. Hololive. Yeah, now look, at the I was time, a fan she was of Rushia. If not the God biggest VTuber in Japan. And again, the Japanese dope. market is where most of the money is for VTubing. So this is a very I big imagine. deal. In fact, before moving on from Hololive, she had accrued a total revenue of $3.2 million. Damn, brother. Just from Super Chats. Oh, just okay, from Super Chats. That is insane. That is insane. I can't even imagine. Wait. Three okay, so first off, we don't know how much of that is actually her. Because she, she was working for whole life, so I imagine it gets a percentage, right? $3.2 million just from donations. But that's is probably still a shit ton. That's just I imagine she gets around she at least at 50%. Time. Now, even though she's making Echo today, uh, this GTA entire 5. scandal can be traced back to when she was oh, Lucia on a collab stream oh, no. where she was playing GTA 5. And okay. on that day, <laughs> on that if day, she had just remembered to turn off her Discord notifications. Man, I think we'd be living in a different timeline, okay? I think we'd be living in a different universe because it had that much of a profound That's a lot of balls. impact. Around early February 2022, okay. she was streaming back in the day. right here, collabing. And all of a sudden, on the top left, you see a Discord notification pop up from Mafu Mafu, pretty much saying, "I just finished Wait, streaming." Bro, why? I don't understand why some streamers if, uh, capture the whole screen. Listen, you can game capture, so it captures just your game. So when you get pop-ups, they don't appear on the screen. Even I can do that, okay? And I suck at a lot of things. I also suck, by the way. I'm getting ready to go home. Say that? Now, the interesting thing here is that it can be interpreted in two different ways, saying either I'm going to my home versus our home. Yeah, why would right? she let her go like he's going to kiss home? What didn't help is that in a previous stream, she had leaked her Discord DMs and Bruh. he was right there. Hey, prompting yo. people to all of a sudden start asking questions. Who the hell is this guy and how dare you betray me? I'm going to be your future boyfriend. Yes, yeah, sure, well, brother. Mafu is an extremely popular Utaite. I, I, don't, know if that, I don't know if that's... Utaite? Oh, wait, spell it. <laughs> this means that he's a singer, but yeah. he only covers. Hey, I've listened to his song. He's good. He's very good. There's already existing songs. Okay. This genre is huge in Japan. It is. And you can easily be at the same level or even surpass famous groups or bands. Really? I mean, he has 2 million on Twitter and 3.4 million on YouTube. He is huge. Yeah, by he's his own gigantic. Rights. Now, the main issue here with just seeing these DMs, okay? Nothing concrete has happened yet, but the main issue is this. Mafu Mafu and Rushia are two absolute opposites of each other. They Rushia are? is a GFE VTuber and Mafu GFE Mafu is a BFE singer. Okay. What does that mean? Okay, yeah, I need an explanation, but they're throwing so many terminologies at me that I... Initially a sex worker term that made it into the entertainment sphere for some reason. Yo. GFE means girlfriend experience and BFE means boyfriend experience. Wait, Best way to sum this up... Was Rushia GFE? Oh, well, she was, yeah, because she was like that weird stalkerish kind of... She had that whole persona going, right? Where she'd do something bad to you. She'd get the crazy eyes from anime. I hate those chicks. Up is the content animes. creator will specifically target a demographic of the opposite gender and kind of bait them into thinking they have a That's chance for them. up. So if you were one of the well, top contributors of that... I mean, to be honest, if you fall for this, you're pretty... You're pretty... You're not, you're not out there. Let's be honest. Come on, brother. 3.2 million Rushio was getting in super chat. Ruscio. She was messaging you on Discord. She was making you feel special as if she was your girlfriend, making you think, oh, I have a chance with this chick. As Rushia, she's also sold merch titled Couples Mugs oh. and Lifelong Engagement Ring. <laughs> okay, she knows. Okay, I understand buying merch. Merch is dope. Who the hell would buy this? And probably if I check this online, this has probably oh, it has sold out three times over. That's exactly what she's doing. Now, Mafu Mafu does participate in this, just not as much as Rushia does. Bro, he it doesn't look real. A huge demographic of his are he doesn't women, look real. And they fantasize about him like K-pop Why Mafu Mafu is an about, angel? Well, K-pop. Groups. 
being a GFE or a BFE content creator is most likely a conscious decision you're making, yeah, knowing probably. how much money you can make. But these two communities were not really made to coexist <laughs> because pitting a GFE community versus a BFE community is literally World War III. Like, it's over. Hey, yo. My man had to... We need to start taking World War III seriously because, listen, soon it might be the end. I have to, to apologize on <laughs> the same going day. But in the world. Bear in mind, he just DM'd oh, me, okay? Shit. He had to apologize on the same day saying, regarding this matter, I sincerely apologize for causing so much misunderstanding due to my careless actions. I become good friends with the people I'm playing games with, and when I contacted him last night to try playing games, I ended up making a lot of people feel uncomfortable. He's referring to the message he sent Rushi. Okay. There is no evidence that they are living together. This is badly translated. Hey, I think he listen, sometimes I visit my homies after gaming as well, okay? Give the homie a little smooch. Give the homie a little... Oh. I'm joking, of course. Is that there's no evidence proving that he lives with <laughs> Rusia. And then he ends it by saying, really sorry. The, the equivalent of an apology like this, where he's like, I it's sincerely homie life. apologize. Yo, what I'm is, really sorry. This happened. What is going on down here? Can somebody explain that shit to me? Usually, like in the West, when <laughs> someone does something really bad. Yeah. Like, guys, I just started a crypto scam. It didn't work. I'm really sorry. I sincerely apologize. Or guys, I made fun of a corpse in the Japanese forest. I apologize, right? This guy just messaged her, okay? These are the communities we're dealing with right here. He knows his community very well, and the fact that he did this means that he knows exactly what would happen if he doesn't kneel before them kneel with before the utmost them. remorse. Because unfortunately for him and Rushia, this wasn't uh, the okay. first time so Rushia, allegations like you're this came about. Stop so tweeting about how it's okay for her to be in a relationship. You're making it worse. Uh, I'm assuming this is a lot of degenerate shit. I'm not sure if I want to read that. Really? <laughs> Push but that don't makes it the enough. idea of how crazy their community is. It has 1.3k of votes. Here's an example of what happened in 2018 between these two. They've been friends since 2018. And at that point, what is <laughs> fans that? started noticing similarities between pictures posted on their accounts of different furniture and appliances. Ruscio would sometimes post pictures. Bro, that's kind of scary and now. And would stream with face cam on. So, yeah. <laughs> Man, this is what I call weaponized autism. Because what the huh? fuck is this? Images posted on both their accounts separately being like, yo, this is kind of the same mug, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> even with the plushies. Even the plushies couldn't be left out of this. So Bro. even in 2018, Mafu Mafu had to cut... This is reaching 4chan level of autism. Out ...and apologize, saying sorry for the inconvenience, but I learned about the situation from a friend's Damn. phone call. It seems that some bad. people are saying that Mafu Mafu may be dating the streamer Mikineko. Based on the matching of tableware and stuffed animals, but there's no such fact. I'm truly sorry for causing trouble to others due to baseless okay. facts. Okay, here I gotta have, a, I gotta ask a question. So, how is Rusia outside of when she was uh, Mikineko? Was she the same as like the same personality type? Because I know sometimes when they change tableware that we have received skins, from our they change over the years of our live so. performances and events. Yeah. I've tweeted about for some people it's more of a role. Animal, but I got it at a game center with a male friend. I'm really sorry for bothering everyone. Sorry for the sorry. late night. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm really sorry. I sincerely apologize. It's like, dude, chill. This is some bitch ass behavior. I'm gonna be honest. From the fans and from them as well. But they, they know what they're doing, I guess, because they signed up for this kind of, I guess. Oh, I don't man. know. This is a <laughs> very weird situation. If only some criminals held giant culture remorse, shock for me. We'd be a better society. But this just shows you how rabid the communities are. Yeah, Mafu Mafu is practically in a relationship with this community and he cannot in any way cheat on them. So is Rushia. Because it wasn't just Mafu Mafu defending himself from the Discord message fiasco. Rushia was also doing the same thing after this message had leaked. But she did it in one of the worst ways oh, possible. God. She, she contacted do? a drama tuber. So imagine someone getting into an issue in the West and the okay. first person they contact is Keemstar. <laughs> Keemstar, I haven't heard that name in that? so long. And she long. just started yapping about how this isn't real, how everything's fine, whatever. And in the process, started ranting about things she doesn't like at all, oh, like, including co-workers, the staff, etc. Whoa, whoa, I thought they left, I thought she left whole like, life, like, you know, it was okay. It was, hey, I just want to leave, so it's... Which resulted in her leaking some pretty sensitive oh, information. God. This is what happens when you talk about a sensitive issue and don't consult with a legal team first. But don't she just use your brain first. And that in itself was a huge Oh wait, they terminated her. Was it? Bro, I don't remember shit, I guess. Community, Damn. especially in Japan. Now, of course, she feigned ignorance. She was like, sorry, guys, it was just an innocent mistake. Of course, Hall Life didn't want to terminate her. I mean, she was making millions on Super Chat. But she had leaked sensitive info. 
and you just don't do that. But that was that because shortly afterwards she went on to become Nazuna under the Vishojo Corporation. Yes, she I missed the whole arc. Graduation. <laughs> I love that word. At the end of 2023, only to finally come back to her original persona, Mika Neko. It seems like the drama starts. Going okay, Continues. you know, Mika Neko was going to voice act in an anime in oh, a lead role. Yo! I should say. Muffin what? Muffin was doing Which anime is that? I guess, you know, things just moved on. People didn't really mention the stuff. He looks so fragile. I swear, this dude, I look at him and it looks like if he moves wrong, he's got to break. Until. You okay, homie? <laughs> Until the Japanese equivalent of TMZ, a weekly tabloid by the name of Jose7, published an article that broke the internet. This happened on January 26th that big, really? of this year, 2024. It talked about oh, how so this Mafu year? and Mikaneko not only were married oh. okay, during yeah. the time that Discord message leaked, but they also divorced. Oh, That's two bombshells in one. That's quick. <laughs> the fact that they were married and the fact that they're speedrunning any percent to divorce. <laughs> okay, bro. Now that you understand how crazy both their fan bases are, yeah. You can imagine the hey, online Gura. The Japanese internet was like a... Uh, let's just skip the analogy this time. <laughs> I mean, look, please listen. <laughs> listen, Brace, this is really loud. But <laughs> this clip is insane. This clip right here went viral, right? Like it became a meme. This is a Mikaneko fan absolutely having a breakdown over the fact that she was married and not with him. Okay. Feeling extremely betrayed. <laughs> let's hear it. I'm back in it. Bro, if you just put this much art and effort into a real relationship, you'd probably be married and divorced like three times over, homie. Come on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we know what he's saying. Just a normal fan, you know? Just, yeah, I just think there's very normal anything normal in this video. This is like when it was leaked that Amaranth had a husband. And I remember like one of her top... Wait, what? That was a thing? I know Amaranth, wasn't she the one that threw her cat? Up donator mods. Beat the shower said, cat. I feel betrayed. I cannot support you anymore. It's like, what do you mean, bro? You think she was gonna marry you? <laughs> oh, yes. <God. laughs> the answer is yes. They actually oh, thought my she God, would... that beard is not doing it for you, brother. Shave that shit off. I was going to. Okay. Looks like pubes. This is what you call a gachikai. Someone who a is gacha not just a kai. fan of an idol. Why is there terminology for this? This makes me feel but sad. In love with them. <laughs> hoping to one day be with them, all right? These are the kinds of fans we're dealing with here. Now, of course, after this bombshell of an article, the first thing that happened was Mafu Mafu responding. Okay. And as you can see, this is a news article coming straight from Japan talking about this. He wrote a huge blog post that went over everything from the marriage to the divorce on his website. He linked it in this tweet right here, and as the article's title mentioned, it ignited a firestorm. Okay. As you can see, it's quite extensive. God, <laughs> There's a lot damn. to take in here, but thankfully, the community has some really good translators that went through the trouble of translating this entire thing. Okay, guys, listen, this is going to be a roller coaster, all right? Oh, the first God. thing he says about this relationship is this. I really had serious feelings for my partner, and he refers to this partner as A-san, or Miss A, -san? A, but we all know this is Mikaneko, confirmed later. Around spring 2021, I talked about not being able to fall in love in magazine interviews, and I realized I was unable to hold any romantic feelings for people, which was why I gave up on love and marriage. It was during that time that I met Mikaneko, and they conveyed that they liked me, even with all my flaws and faults. That's such a weird statement. Statement. You don't just meet somebody and fall in love, it's a gradual increase of attraction brother once you get to know somebody at least that's how i took it maybe maybe some people just meet people and fall in love i don't fucking know i guess shit happens i don't know my much about the world i guess been different from God, the general damn. perspective of romance but i thought that it would have been really good if we could live together supporting each other oh he was I trying to hold a lot of opposition from my friends and acquaintances but i ignored all the negative remarks and decided to officially be in a relationship with her followed by marriage wait there was no confusion wait a second so in 2022 they were married and in 2024 we find out they're divorced already and he started the relationship in 2021 brother 
Don't marry people you've known for a year. Don't marry people you've known for two years. Marry people that you've lived with for at least a couple of years. First off, you don't know anybody until you've lived with them romantically. Second off, these quick marriages almost never work. And if they work, it's probably because of kids and shit like that, that you can't divorce because you have a kid and it's this never really that happy. This how my feelings were towards Mikineko. It's stupid so shit. So early stupid. on here, we see that he might be suffering from self-esteem issues, which makes him unfortunately easily manipulated. And that his friends and acquaintances did go through the trouble of warning him, probably recounting okay. how recently he... I don't know how he saw all that shit from that sentence. I didn't see any of that, but... Okay. He's saying he can't fall in love, and now he's not only in a relationship, but considering to marry someone in such yeah, a short just period of stupid. time. Not a very normal and rational thing to do. Yes. So in this paragraph, he says that he wanted to announce his marriage many times, but Mikineko being an online personality, she and her management team preferred not to. Ooh. He then says, when I was withering away... Oh, oh, <laughs> shit. It's like when you date somebody and she doesn't want to appear with you in public. You know what that means? It means they're probably cheating on you. Yes, you should probably end that relationship. In fact, for them, it's probably not even a relationship. It's not even that serious. But she married him, so I guess it might have been serious. It's such a weird shit. That's such an environment. Mikineko was with me. At that time, when I would object to trivial matters, she would verbally attack me. Oh. Countless days where I would cry and apologize continued, which made me think, Damn. in the end, everything is just all my fault. And my days turned so dark. It was so dark. Why do people think like that? Listen, if the reason... Okay, I'm getting very... Whatever. The reason why you should or you should try and be in a relationship is if the other person makes your life better. If you're in a relationship and the other person does not make your life better and you don't be in that relationship. The only reason is that you make each other's life better. That's how the relationship shit works. And then you get married if that shit keeps working for a long time and you want to start a family. Not even necessary to get married to start a family, but you know what I mean. Like if you are unhappy. And the other person is strictly making you unhappy in a relationship with that person. And that shit immediately. Maybe try it out if it's a long relationship. Try for, give it like a week or two. Explain to them. Talk. But Mark, it was as if I don't do this see. shit. So this don't is marry them. Abuse. He's being blamed for everything. He already had low self-esteem. Now it's even How, lower. Okay. Make it do, did other people get the low self-esteem thing? I did not get that from the... I mean, obviously, yeah, he might have it, but he might not. I, I Echo was pretty much taking I full I didn't advantage see that in the message. of him. Back then, I was so blinded that I wasn't sure if this was normal or not. In order not to make Mikaneko this... Brother, what relationship were your parents in? Okay, they might be divorced. Okay, have you not seen a TV series? People are supposed to be happy, motherfucker. Please, what the all hell? of my behaviors were to ensure she wouldn't be angry. Now listen to this. This is one of the craziest things in this entire statement. I would be in front of my PC every day with Line and Discord opened and would reply to all messages immediately. In a day, we would have Damn. hundreds of messages exchanged between the both of us. But even then, she would still suspect that I was cheating on her. <laughs> That's insane. She would keep me online on the... Your homie was now whipped. He was... I don't know what is next three levels in whipped. I scored 24 was in prison. to monitor my activities and to prove Damn. that I wasn't cheating, I would keep going up on my phone even when I was sleeping. When I look back at this now, this seems unbelievable even to me. I'm yes. glad, dude. I'm glad. No but shit. But before, I would just accept this and continue to do it. That's yeah, crazy. I mean, at this point, this isn't even abuse. It could be considered criminal. Well, One of the I don't worst know about forms that, of but... torture used by intelligence agencies is not letting war criminals sleep. <laughs> okay? This is criminal. Okay. I think now you're starting to understand why people were calling her the Amber Heard of Japan. Bro, uh. he couldn't even sleep. He then continues. Even in the situation where I was told you just married for the money, I would just continue to apologize without knowing much. Wait. This really Even in the situation where I was told you just married for the money, doesn't he have more supporters than her? He might not have as much money as her, but he, he should have a decent amount of fucking money. With the amount of, uh, you know. really got to a point where she could literally tell him, hey, I didn't sleep well last night. It's your fault. And he'll apologize. No questions asked. It was that bad. I wasn't able to make judgments for myself, I didn't know what the best choice of actions were, and at that point the only thing that saved me were the words given by all my important friends. Which he of course ignored initially and isolated himself, but then later realized, wait, maybe what they're saying does make sense, this isn't normal. Yeah, it's not normal, since the start. I came to my all the words and actions I've received from Mikaneko was okay. moral harassment. I have questions, how old is this dude? How old was he when this happened? Because this is, this, like, if you're 18, 19, 20... But then you're kind of pushing it, but brother, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's abuse too. 
I decided that we couldn't be together like this anymore and started to consider filing for divorce. At the start, Mikineko expressed her strong feelings towards this and stated, I'll reflect on everything that has happened now. I don't no, want to divorce. Listen, so no, don't do that. This is like what cheaters tell you that, oh, I cheated before. I apologize. It's never going to happen again. Listen, it will happen again. If it happened again, the only reason that you might not find out. Yeah, that's the only thing. You might not find out when it happens. It will happen again. If she cheats on you, if he cheats on you, and that shit, he will probably or she will probably cheat again. This is the same thing with abuse. If he's abused you or she's abused you, she will probably do it again. Okay? Plus, it's already changed the whole dynamic of the relationship. How can you trust somebody that's already hurt you this much before? Right? Just don't do it. Say, fuck you. Get the fuck out of my life and be done with it. So we decided Simple. not to file for divorce and tried to find ways to solve the issues so that we could oh, improve our you relationship. Oh, stupid motherfucker. This dude dumb as hell. I'm gonna be honest with you. This dude dumb as hell. Bro, Russia must have some dope ass titties, some dope ass vagina. That vagina must be 10 out of 10 for this dude to be this crazy in his head over there. Like, so what he the fell hell? The trap, pretty much. He even bought an entire yeah. house for uh, them to. You can't say he fell in the trap. That's like somebody putting a trap in front of your face and the trap setting up takes like 10 minutes and then you still walk into the trap live in because he thought that he'd be able to remove any anxious feelings she might have about the relationship because she always thought he was cheating on her like all the time but by that time the relationship had taken so much damage that she moved into the house by herself and asked him not to come and he said okay <laughs> huh she was just taking full advantage of this poor guy and even hey, worse... Hey, listen, it's not a poor guy. Listen, after this whole thing happened, and his friends told him that, and she told him that, they discussed the relationship, everything that happens after this is on his head, okay? He knew it was a toxic relationship, he knew he should get out of it, but he didn't. Listen, I don't want... I, don't, I usually... I don't like blaming the people that are, like, you know, getting damaged or getting abused, but, like, brother, at some point, the only person that can save you is you. And it's a very easy way to save yourself. Just say, fuck you, bitch, get out of my life. Easy. After this, Mikineko would start posting cryptic messages that contain negative connotations about Mafu Mafu on social media. Those messages would largely what? differ from the truth, and this prompted many criticisms from third parties against him. Through his lawyers, he's repeatedly asked her to stop making such statements, but it didn't. And improve. they're living together at this time. So picture this: I'm so with someone. I, I don't know what's happening. Twenty-four-seven. They want you to apologize for the most minor, trivial things. You bought a house. She moved in. Asked you not to she come. She moved in. And then starts posting posting shit about you online it's the most ridiculous situation dude seriously this is honestly crazy so still in hopes of improving the relationship i'll be honest you, to me the craziest thing is that he's allowing this whole thing to happen shit muffu muffu really oh, doesn't get up wild. we propose to be connected at least disclose How do you allow some this of the facts of the situation to put an end Bro, to where's the your spine slander. brother so in other words he wanted to give fans context and let them know about what was going on but her representatives unanimously oppose this by saying that she's restarting her activities as a new persona so we're not going to make any compromise about this we don't want to announce a marriage right before she restarts a new persona there should be no so more marriage while, here but at some point he just couldn't bear her contradicting words Good. so on the end of may 2022 he formally filed for divorce with a lawyer why is there so much Thereafter, text more oh, being, God. Tell everyone the truth we entered into divorce proceedings with lawyers now during the divorce discussions mikineko was delaying them by saying that she had health issues she was also demanding money and other things <laughs> he didn't specify as these discussions were being delayed okay <laughs> Wait, can you delay poor hell? This is a divorce, bitch. This, it's not like they're in a law court. Just divorce. I don't think what poor hell. Good. <laughs> I mean, they're divorced. He probably... That she was having an affair. What? She was cheating on him. It's... She was cucking him, brother. Oh my god, this poor dude. This this. So because of that, they settled their divorce with nothing being paid out because she was caught completely off guard by this. Now he discovered that she had an affair during their marriage because of some guy called B-san, or B -san. Mr. B, that reached out to him, showing him screenshots of what went on between him and Mikineko. Yo, In the screenshots, okay. you can see- Listen, what sort of screenshots? Is he- Bro, this is an NTR hentai. This is an NTR hentai plot. The invitations Actually. of dates and exchanging gifts on Valentine's Day. And the craziest, most screwed up thing in all of this is what happened when they got married, when they registered their marriage on Christmas, on December 25th and December 26th, Mick and Echo flaked on their plans for Christmas and invited Mr. B to hang out with her at
I mean, listen, brother, this guy had all the clues in the world. This guy got clues. He got slapped by clues that this bitch ain't wifey material. She fooled the streets and he was like, I love this woman, I guess. What is wrong with you? Like, come on. God cannot give you any more clues. The earth is trying to At protect you, brother. The year, You're not listening. They just married, like not even a week passes by and she's already having an affair. And even when they were settling their divorce in the middle of May, she would text Muffa Muffa saying, oh man, I really want to get back together. I really miss you. While inviting Yo, Mr. This bitch B actually to the share streets. a room with her. Now, Mr. B's apologized to him multiple times since then. It seems like he didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah. And now they became good friends. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's homie shit. That, that b son dude. He good. He good. He saved this dude's probably a shit ton of money. Dude, that's insane. Or something, I don't know. He seems like a decent dude. friends with the dude that had an affair with his ex-wife because they both now realize how much of a bitch he is. really screwed up in that head of hers. Yeah. Hey, man, we gotta unite together because this is <laughs> fucked up. But other than the cheating and the abuse and everything that has happened so far, oh my the divorce God, what the was hell not is this situation? the final nail in the coffin. Mafa Mafa discovered that the home that he bought for himself and Mikineko that she lived in without him was littered with cardboard boxes and trash that there was literally nowhere to stand on, taking heavy inspiration from asthma. Oh my God, what the hell? Oh, you dirty bitch. Okay, fuck stuff. How do you look at a woman like this and be like, I'm going to marry her? Like, bro, if I see this now, nah, bitch, that's a mind trap. I'd probably step in on 15 different organisms. Golden X walking into that there room. There was even an urn of ashes belonging to the pet of Mikineko that she just left there in the trash. He brought the what? urn home, and even till now, it's resting in a high spot in his living room. This already Respectable says a lot individual. about her as a character. Him, but not that her. was not all. During their divorce settlement, Mikineko and other parties harassed him on social media and anonymous posting forums. There were a lot of posts saying that he was the perpetrator of domestic violence and that he cheated- Listen, bro, I saw that dude's body type. I am pretty sure he cannot hurt a fly. Okay, I am pretty sure. It countless times with multiple women, but of course, these were all lies and not true at all. During my hiatus as well, I was harassed repeatedly and I couldn't tell the truth and I passed each day with misinformation and slander spread Why couldn't he tell the truth? He had taken a hiatus during the divorce because he just couldn't handle the stress. And of course, while suffering in silence, she didn't Wait, stop the online... Why was he suffering in silence though? Just come back, put a statement out and go back on your harassment what and i'm seeing a trend here she's kind of like she loves projecting right like you're a cheater she cheated <laughs> perpetrator of domestic violence she abused the hell out of him mentally yeah. it just seems like everything she does she just says he's doing it instead it's insane that's textbook definition of projection there are it's even bad. unconfirmed rumors that she hired people to trash talk him online and in forums and honestly at this point i wouldn't even be surprised if what? it's true so now mafu mafu is how much how much does it cost trash somebody online and to hire somebody Silly how do you even go about doing that what the, what the? and the civil trial is ongoing we still don't know what happened he recorded a statement for eight hours with the police Damn. and nothing has advanced so far since then now of course the tabloid coming out was something that he did not want he Why was not? willing to suffer in silence throughout the whole thing idiot go through the civil trial all by himself I, just to not risk hey, i'm gonna be honest with you if a woman did this shit to me i'm going fucking nuclear on that bitch i'm putting everything out fuck your do dead dog in the urn i'm putting pictures out bitch i'm joking his fan base am i in the first i'm not sure if i'm joking the there, I'm be honest with you. i might cause trouble to many people people might never listen to my music again Moron. i'll be hated by everyone be told we never want to see you again and i might never be okay. able to perform as yeah this seems like something you need to talk with a therapist for like this sort of world view you probably should get that shit fixed Mafu probably again, talk to somebody about that pretty much posted this statement genuinely thinking there's a chance he will never be able to be mafu mafu ever again that's how crazy idol culture yeah. is. In I mean, from what we've seen of uh, idol fans in Japan and Asia, I, I don't blame the dude. Those motherfuckers out there got their mind, brother. Man, in regards what to you relationships. Mean? Now, a few days later, after this bombshell of a statement, oh, God, she got Miki Neko comes out with her own reply okay. on, of course, Fanbox. Fan By the box. way, 48 million God views. Damn. Okay? This is this big. And here's what she has to say That's in bullet points, because holy moly, it's long. I mean, look at this. It's even longer than Mafu Mafu, I think. It's oh. crazy. Yo. She starts off by apologizing that her private matters became such a huge issue. Hey, guys, sorry okay. I have a private life. That's a very bad way to start an apology. Even if it is an apology... So usually, 
when people are sincere, they tackle the biggest issues first. When you start trying to divert issues from the big issues, like the big, your point is trying to get little points and then the big point, it usually comes off as very insincere. From what I've noticed. <laughs> Sorry, it became an issue. She states that she registered her marriage with Mafu Mafu in 2021 okay, so and divorced 21. in 2022. She apologizes for lying to everyone, but said that because of that? her work as a streamer, she had to lie due to restrictions. But Mafu Mafu stated that he wanted to go public with this after her termination from Hololive and before she joined Vishoja. Okay. So there wasn't a cut. Does, does Hololive have a thing that where if you're in a relationship, you cannot state that? Contract stopping her here. I it was no her idea. decision. I doubt Vishoja has that. She denies ever changing. With that. Mr. B. She's reflecting on the fact that the screenshots between them might allude to their affair, but she explains that these messages were just ju She cheated. She probably cheated with way more people. That's what this is telling me. Oops. Hey, here's a Valentine's Day gift. Oops, just a joke. Hey, I just got married five days ago. What Let's a go for New Year's Eve. <laughs> oh, he didn't she know then she was married. She goes to say that. that she confesses that she suspected and questioned Mafu about his affairs during their wedding. However, <laughs> she doesn't think she was morally harassing or restricting his actions. This is such a yeah, bad approach. Yeah, I mean, not morally what harassing having someone on Discord and line 24-7, having to reply immediately to messages, and having to wake up from sleep just to check for messages because if you missed one and didn't reply she will retaliate against you yeah totally normal <laughs> yeah absolutely so this translation right here on github oh, explains God. this part better about the divorce negotiations he as in mafu mafu claimed in the broadcast that upon divorcing him i initially requested money but after my relationship with mr b came to light i stopped requesting money that is so she admits that there was a relationship this bitch is so confused you just said that there was no relationship and now she's saying that there is a relationship is not true. First of all, the reason I was demanding money from him was because of moral harassment and an overly unilateral divorce offer. What does that even Regarding mean? Regarding this point, I'll refrain from writing about the details here as there is a possibility that problems such as defamation may arise. I did not mention the affair because I received advice from my lawyer to refrain from making any claims as there is no- So there was an affair. Objective evidence and it so she lied suspicion. to us. Yeah, it's suspicion. You know what isn't a suspicion? Your texts with Mr. B. <laughs> When I consulted my relatives about him, they got angry and published my correspondence with them, which could have oh. violated his rights. So after conferring with my lawyer, we decided to divorce with no money exchange. So did my relatives. Bro, even your, even your family knows you're a crazy bitch. God damn, Russia. I can't believe I was a fan of your ass. This is what's scary about some of these shit, bro. Either side. You don't know the person you know, behind that. It could be, be an actual reason. psychopath. I don't doubt that. It's just that the affair well, probably be maybe muffin. accelerated <laughs> their decision. Now here's my favorite part, okay? Here's oh my god, part. there's she more. She denies Whoa. all the oh. obvious stuff, but she confesses to something that she might have not seen as crazy, but it actually is insane. She confesses that it is true. She was slandering Mafu Mafu on internet forums, which led Mafu to sue her. She explains it was because her contract with her company ended at the same time she had to divorce with Mafu Mafu, so she was in a bad place mentally, which resulted so in... So that's what you do when you're in a bad place mentally? You just start abusing people who you were married to her posting her feelings on the Psychopath. internet in her lawyer's opinion the posts she published were not considered illegal she admitted that it was her and apologized via her lawyer to him however she claims that mafu mafu demanded the following conditions for the settlement suspend all activities on the internet under her streamer's name not allowed to use social media one million yen in compensation How much is that? and there's a fourth reason mentioned in the replies which is for her to post a statement of her wrongdoings pretty much telling the world about the marriage the divorce and what happened after she was given these four conditions by mafu mafu here's what happened at the time my contract with the agency got terminated and i was concerned about my life so i was unable to accept this proposal and since we were unable to resolve the matter through the settlement it ended with a lawsuit getting filed in the lawsuit there are many stories not directly related to the posts in question such as how we met and one-sided false statements from him since it contained harsh expressions and that my lawyer also thought that this is going too far it's tantamount to a personal attack that unnecessarily degrades me through this lawsuit i filed a countersuit against him Bitch, there is nothing to degrade. You are sewer trash. If any of this is true, you are sewer trash. You're not even for the streets. You're under the streets, goddammit. And went to the police. A complaint the was hell? filed and accepted. She ended her statement by saying this. We are currently taking both civil and criminal action against him. In addition, his statement in the live stream being so one-sided, and upon consulting my lawyer, although we are truly reluctant of doing so, we have decided to take both civil and criminal action against that's him as well. Sure, Even that's gonna work end, out well. I never wanted to get into this kind of conflict with a person to whom I once made a lifelong commitment. I'm fully aware. You motherfuckers were married for a year. I don't think you even know the definition of lifelong. 
swear that I'm at fault for the post I Probably less than yeah, However, yeah. it is really painful to see that in the lawsuit, he claims allegations that are not directly related to the post in question. And even though I provided counter arguments and explanations, he still ignores them all. I'm very sorry that I, who am in a position to make you all smile, have disturbed you all with such an unsightly private matter. Please note that this is a solely private matter. I do not wish any slander to be made against him related to this matter, so please refrain from such actions. In addition, there have been many slanderous posts against me that have gone too far following the current dispute. We will continue to take legal action against such posts. Good luck with that. I will continue that. my activities as a streamer, and despite this difficult situation, will do my best to make everyone Jesus smile. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> This whole thing went from a civil lawsuit to now a criminal lawsuit. I had that why is criminal that? Well, actually happened. <laughs> because we're in Japan. Japan has a very controversial oh God, defamation Japan. law. To give you an example, C Dog VA, a very uh, beloved content dude. creator in the Japan slash anime sphere, yeah. was asked his opinion about it's the Sonic Tatsuki Nijisanji situation at one okay. point during a live stream. He said he literally cannot say anything because of this defamation law. He lives in Japan, so the law oh. can apply to him. If you you just as Shit. much say something bad about a corporation or That's an individual. That's so stupid. That you can is such be a stupid law. Even if you're saying the truth, you can leave a one-star review to a doctor who botched your surgery. He can still sue you and win in court. It's insane. So this lawsuit well, is going to be. Can the doctor do that, or does it have to be like a famous doctor that is a personality? Really interesting because both know, of Japan, the individuals sir. here made this, this mistake. Japan. They defamed each other, even though it might have been true in their eyes. It's still really bad in Japan. I think Mafu Mafu tried to cover his ass by not saying her name directly in a statement, referring to her as Asan, but it's still very risky. And while Mikaneko clearly hired a lawyer team to write her statement, yeah, it was a it's bad already statement. too late because the posts she admitted to posting that were slandering Mafu Mafu online are enough to sue her for defamation. Listen, bro, I don't know who the lawyers are that wrote that shit. Y'all suck. Y'all suck ass. That is actual defamation. You are defamed currently. Fuck you <laughs> But that wasn't the end of this, because right after her statement, Mikaneko went live to address the situation oh, once again. In the stream, she apologized go? a million times and showed things like health records to prove that she was indeed hospitalized during the divorce talks. She points. And does her best to rekindle her bond with her community. That's great and all, it really, but <laughs> why the hell is the first link in your description Damn. a butt mouse pad? Why? Like, okay, you could have copy pasted it from a previous stream, but at least pay attention to this, dude. Why the hell is that the first thing in an apology stream? It doesn't really help. I'm gonna say it again. This bitch, my, she, she must have some crazy ass vagina muscles, cause I don't. It would. That's the only thing that would explain all these craziness over her. In my eyes, I don't get it. Her image. I don't understand. Anyway, it has since been a month and a half, and they're both doing pretty good career-wise. Because guess what? They're now officially single, and their fans can't fantasize about being with them again. <laughs> Mikaneko's company and the anime she's voicing stood by her, and Mafu Mafu didn't end up losing his entire music career like he thought he would. But with that being said, this is really all about the lawsuit now. Now, yes, Mafu Mafu in this situation does sound more credible, but that doesn't mean he'll win. There will be Joker cards yeah. in this trial. I mean, with laws, it gets very complicated, and it's a laws in Japan. I don't know anything about laws in Japan. I know they have like a crazy conviction rate, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody probably knows Most what's gonna happen, but Japan. Defamation law in Japan. So yeah, there's probably gonna be a part two to this video sometime in the future. In the end, Damn, it's clear they years. were both very in incompatible was that? with many what issues, both hell? mental and physical, resulting from this. Bro, were... if any of that is true about Rushi, I don't think the bitch is compatible with anything. A bitch wild. If, it, I mean, it might have been like, but... She sounds real bad. And they both went it sounds real lot. bad. And homie needs to get a, a now fucking look, spine. I'm about to publish this what is video wrong with tomorrow, them? but I had to add this part in the video oh, last God, second. What happened? Mickey Echo has been acting weird. On February 20th, she posted that her mental health was really bad. She can't be consistent, and she asked people to remember her. And according to Fallside, she recently did a Twitter cast. And apparently, a big Japanese VTuber, with her permission, tweeted out that Mikineko attempted to take her own life and is being hospitalized at the moment. We're still waiting on Mikineko to tweet. Is she? What tweet the on her hell? account so that we can get some form of update on her health. She's streaming her suicide. That was happening. What the hell is going on? Okay, here? like when the video is so the weird this shit is what's happening. happening today. You're getting fresh news at this point. Anyway, back to the normal conclusion that I set out to make for this video. 
As a viewer, this should serve as a warning. If all your friends and acquaintances are warning you about something, yeah. you probably should think about it a bit more. Yeah, and if your significant other is abusing you, make that a past significant other. They won't get better. Even if they got better for a couple of months, they will st at some point in the future, they will still get worse. Okay? If they're cheating on you, leave them. If they're abusing you, leave them. That's it. No, don't question anything. Don't listen to any of the sob stories they give you. They're a piece of shit. Le delete them from your life. You will be happier. Don't think about them. Fuck them. Okay? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. What the hell? I thought I, w I went into this. I wasn't. I was expecting a little bit of drama, some other shit. No, 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 no. Let me know what y'all think. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, all that.